Um, so since I said I wanted to start doing more uh, vlogs and everything, I'm trying to keep up with the schedule here. And it's Wednesday, so do, time, do vlog time. Um, this one is most of them will be. Uh, will not be. Well, will not be as long as the uh, the previous one I did. It was like 14 minutes for the first one. So uh, it you know that had a lot of stuff in it and everything. So that took a little bit, but. Most of them will be like five minutes or so. Um, this is just the goal of these are really here to just let me uh, tell you guys more of what I'm doing on a daily basis, kind of, and uh, everything that's going on more in the immediate time frame. Uh, just give you a better idea of what's happening uh, sequentially rather than in chunks when I update things. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to get these out every Wednesday, uh, being as my new schedule for work kicks in. Uh, after training this week after next where I'll have Wednesdays and Thursdays off so that'll be good anyway on to business uh, ooh coffee mm -hmm. yeah it's 8pm and I'm drinking coffee that's coffee is an anytime drink <laughs> um, so uh, good news about Gen Zero for any of you who've uh, been around for multiple updates of the alpha uh, this will be really cool for you um, because as those of you would know in the past, you've had to uninstall the previous version of Gen Zero and then install fresh the new one. Well, I've been working with a new uh, coder. Um, he's not more of the game coding, just he's specified in this field, but he's actually coding a client for me or a client downloader. So it'll be much like a MMO or another game like that where you download instead a client installer, which is, will be like five megabytes or so, not very big. And then that client will actually take from an internet database I have where I upload the game and it will download and install the game for you and then you actually play the game through the client so that's really cool because for one it's gonna look nicer and just be a little bit more kind of like uh, I don't know nice it'll look aesthetically more be, be more pleasing um, the other side of things fun functionally it'll uh, instead of you having to uninstall the previous one and reinstall the new one at like you know again 300 megabytes or however big the game is you will be able, I, when I update the game and put a new patch out, you'll simply just be able to install the new patch. So, excuse me, if that patch is only going to be like a megabyte or two megabytes, then all you have to download is just that one or two megabytes. And this is really cool because then, you know, you don't have to spend the time having to re-download the entire game each time you have to update. On the other side of things for me to you, this is really cool because I can update the game uh, more often to you guys because having to completely ask you to uninstall it and reinstall it, and then also for my end, getting everything prepped up on, uh, on the internet and getting it put out to you guys takes quite a bit of work so you know I like to do updates in more bigger chunks this way when I'm updating things I can if I have add some new events in or another map I give you access to I can have it along the way and you know may, maybe make different demo points you know that I put in just for the demo at that time and during the alpha or beta or whatever so a lot of really cool stuff there it's really neat um, the client is kind of in the latter end of development, so it's mostly completely finished. I We just really kind of got to uh, get everything online and ready to be downloaded and whatnot. And then I have to finish up with the alpha update that I'm doing now with like the Pokemon Academy and uh, restructuring uh, um, balance and whatnot, you know, with trainers and the gym leader and stuff like that and wild Pokemon. Um, so that'll all be coming pretty soon. Uh, again, I'm not, I don't give updates, so don't ask the day it'll come out or when it will, because I'm not going to tell you. It, it'll be out when it's out. But it'll be sooner than later. Um, on the other side of things, what I've been doing, uh, aside from the client, because that's taken a lot of work in my time as well, is uh, now that I'm going back to work, uh, the tablet will be a lot more useful to me because I'll be out and about. So I've been working on Viridian Forest again because I still have to finish up some of the borders, like where when you walk to the edge of it, you know, you can see past the trees. So I'm trying to fill in all the borders there, and it takes quite a bit because uh, those of you who've seen it know that there's just fucking massive amounts of trees in it. So, yeah, um, I've been working quite a bit on that. i got a lot of updates on that done. Um, 
otherwise, just more updates to events in Viridian City and different things like that. I'm really trying to pu pump a lot of things, a lot of stuff into it. So, I guess that'll wrap up uh, this week's dev thingy. Next week, I'll be covering more about what I'm doing in the events in Viridian City, and I'll hopefully have a bigger dent in and be quite a bit closer and uh, hopefully uh, give you a little bit more um, uh, details on when the next alpha will be out. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I, if you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that, just always feel free to comment. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, Loot Crate. Yeah. Uh, I will be getting my Loot Crate in about four days or so, I think. So you can expect another kind of random video for that when I do my unboxing. So that'll be fun. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, and stay tuned.